Welcome to Edgewong 3, our new online trading journal. So in mid of February 2021, we just released Edgewong 3 as an online version. If you are an existing Edgewong 2 customer, we provide a special deal on an upgrade. Make sure to check the link in the video description below. And in this video, I will show you what is new and I will walk you through the application. So now that Edgewonk 3 is available in your browser, you can access it on your computer, on your tablet, and even on your phone, as long as you have an internet connection. This is the home tab where you see a brief overview of your statistics. Here you have a first profit calendar where you can see the profitable and losing days of your trading. There is a bigger calendar waiting, as I will show you later. You have your running statistics, which are your weekly or your monthly statistics, and a breakdown of uh, your overall performance of all your trades. Here's also a performance graph. In the journal tab, that is the heart of the Edge Wonk trading journal. Here is where you enter your trades and where you can review your entries. Edge Wonk works for futures, for forex, for indices, CFD, commodities, and even for crypto trading. For the most part, you will manually journal your trades. However, we support a few imports of platform statements. And over the next few months, we will add new platforms so that you can more easily import your trades into Edgewonk. If you want to add a new trade, this is now very easy through the add new trade button. You can see there's a pop-up. You can even scale in and out of your trades. You can see you can create new entries and new exits where you enter your price and the quantity and the profits. So you can very easily keep track of a trade with multiple legs. Here at the top, here's where the filters are. You can see we have a basic filter set for the instruments, your setups, reward to risk ratios, the outcome, the direction, how many of your last trades do you want to analyze, the month, date, the years, and under the advanced filters, you have entry comments so you can analyze your entries. You can analyze your trade exits, the trade management, and of course, the custom statistics, which I will show you later. The trade analytics is a very interactive pivot table. By clicking on the ordering criteria, you can dig into your trading performance very deeply. So let's first of all add the outcome and you can see now we can break down your trading performance by winning and losing trades. And here you have a bunch of statistics. We will add new statistics and new columns along the way. For now you have your average quantity, the win rate, expectancy, profit factors, R multiples, R reroute risk ratio plans, how many consecutive winning and losing streaks did you have, drawdown and updraw, which basically means how far and how close did the price come to your stop loss and your take profit so that you can keep optimizing your performance and your order placement. And of course, MAE, which is the maximum adverse excursion and the MFE, and of course also the fees. We can even further break down your trading performance. So if we want to now enter our setups, you can see we can even move this around. So if we want to have the setups in our first layer, then we can see in the first layer, we have now our different setups that we have entered and tag the trades with. And then when we open it one step further, then you can see you can analyze your setups and broken down by winning and losing trades. On the chart lab, you have a bunch of graphs and we are continually adding and improving the chart. So obviously you have an equity graph where you can analyze your performance in terms of gain loss, account balance, the percentage gain, and also our multiple. We have of course also a holding time, which you can choose between hours, days, and minutes. We have a performance by time where you can analyze your trading performance based on the weekday or on the month and even on the hour of day. We have the performance by instruments, so you can analyze different instruments and see how they compare. We have, of course, our very much sought after trade management graph, where you can analyze the impacts of your trade management and you can analyze, are you optimally managing your trades or are you mismanaging your trades? Are you leaving maybe money on the table and could you improve your trade management? We have your win rate over time. We have the win rate over time, so you can follow how your win rate is developing. We have a R distribution so they can analyze the R multiple over all of your trades. So you can very nicely understand your trading performance based on R multiple in a very deep way. You can analyze, of course, your trade comments. So we can analyze the trade entry comments. We can analyze the trade exit comments. How well do the different trade exits perform when you exit the trades, for example, before the weekend, when your take profit has been hit, or if you exited your trade too early, or maybe you even broke your rules. And this is completely customizable. You can enter any trade entry, exit, and trade management comments, obviously. 
We have SQN, which is the system quality number, where you can compare different setups and see which setup is performing best. We have a drawdown graph, where you can see and follow the drawdown of your account graph and your account performance. We have the bigger calendar, where you can analyze the whole trading performance over all of the different years and over the different months. So you can see green and red dots stand for the different uh, trades that have been taken and closed on the specific dates so that you can get an idea of how your weeks and your months are performing. And now we also have an efficiency graph. So 100% efficiency means that you have made zero mistakes and the efficiency lets you analyze how often have you broken your rules. So the closer it gets to 100% rating, the better your trading performance is because you are breaking your rules less often. We have our trade simulator where you can take your current performance and start a performance simulation into the future. So what Edrong does is that it looks at your current journal statistics. So right now, this journal has a win rate of 69%, the average win and the average loss, the starting balance and the reward to risk ratio. And then Edgewong performs a simulation into the future and provides you an idea of what could happen in the future. We have a sessions where you can enter and you analyze maybe your trading week, maybe your trading month. So what you do is once you click on add new and add more trading sessions, you can select the period that you want to analyze for your trades. And then you can see we get a new um, session here. It's ordered by date and you can see how many trades are falling into the period, how many wins, how many losses. You get a basic breakdown of your performance and you can also capture your notes and your thoughts, things that you want to remember, things that stand out. And so over time, very nicely follow your trading progress. Traders use this to create either every week a new trading session or even every month. In Edgewonk, you can add up to six screenshots to each trade. And in the chart book, it gives you an overview of all the trade screenshots that have been entered in Edgewonk. You can very easily open the trade once again. You can edit it. You can also reopen specific um, screenshots. You can flip through them like in a gallery as well. We have a notebook, which is a very new feature. And a notebook is a way to capture um, written thoughts, written trading plans. Anything that you would like to enter, you can see we have a weekly schedule. You can even define your different uh, setups, for example. You can write down your trading business plan. You can enter and link to different screenshots as well. So this is a very nice addition to H13 where you can now combine the powers of the different analytical functions and all the metrics in H13 and more of a written diary. Under the settings, this is where you can manage all the things, for example, you can enter your database name, you can set your account currency, how many decimals do you want to track. You can also activate a public profile page here. And once you save it, you can see here in the top right, now you have the menu point public profile page. And then this is how it looks um, for your trading performance data. The public profile page is accessible to anyone who has the URL. So make sure to only publish this public profile page if you want to share it with the world. You can record different deposits and withdrawals very easily here. You just select a date from the calendar dropdown, the reason for the specific withdrawal or deposit, and then the amount. If you want to record a withdrawal, you have to enter a negative amount. Here you can manage your instruments or your markets that you trade. You can uh, double click into it and also edit it if you maybe made a spelling mistake. You can hide specific entries here by just uh, clicking on this checkmark button. And if you want to show the disabled ones, you just go here on the top right. The same is true for the setups. You have a basic overview. You can even um, capture a description here for the specific setup. Or as I said, you can go to your notebook and enter a much more detailed description of your setups. Trade managements um, are completely customizable. So you can for every trade tag and describe the entry that you took, the trade management and also the exit. So that later on you can dig very deeply into your trading performance and really analyze every part of your trading. You can enter a new trade comment, obviously. And then here you can also change the rating. Is the comment describing a positive, a negative or a neutral trading decision or trading behavior? You can, of course, also delete it and then it's gone. For the sessions, you can also add new categories for the sessions. Here we have an overview of the current importers that we are supporting. Obviously, we have just recently launched Edgewong 3 just two weeks ago. So we are expanding on the platforms that we are supporting. 
We are soon also offering a general Excel importer. And if your platform is not listed here, you can always very easily enter new trades manually. Here's where you enter new custom statistics. Right now, the custom statistics are limited to 10 slots, but we will open up new ones in the future. And this is a basic overview of Edgewonk. Obviously, there's a lot else in here that I will show you over the next few videos. But for now, I wish you happy exploring. Have fun with the new Edgewonk trading journal. And for more links, also check the video description.